Do you have a TPT store and you are thinking of leveling up or upping your game by creating preview videos but you do not know how? Then stick around because I'm going to show you different ways that you can make pre preview videos. Some are fast, some are not as fast, but hopefully one of them is going to work for you. Stay Hi, my name is Laurieann, and if you are new to this channel, welcome. Here at It's All Primary, we talk about teacher productivity and teacher side hustles. And right now, we are doing a series on Teachers Pay Teachers. So if you are a Teachers Pay Teachers seller, then click that subscribe button and bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Teacher side hustle videos are posted Saturdays. Teacher productivity videos are posted Tuesdays. So I was recently asked if I would do a video on preview videos and here it is. And if you have a video that you would like to see, just again, pop it down below in the comments. But there are a few ways that you can do preview videos. And before we get into that, let's talk about why you need a preview video. Because preview videos have been around, but not a lot of people have been doing them up until recently. At the recent Teachers Pay Teachers uh, conference in July of 2020, they talked a lot about the success of sellers who have preview videos on their products. Because one of the things that um, you may not have noticed, <laughs> you probably have, I'm being sarcastic, but there are a lot of products on Teachers Pay Teachers. And you've got to have an edge in order for your product to be sold or purchased over someone else's. It's not about competition. It's about creating an environment where your products are going to be seen by people and they're going to be purchased by people. It's not enough just to get them on their, their eyes on you. Buyers are becoming very savvy and the more that they can see from your product, the better the chances of your product being purchased. So Teachers Pay Teachers allows you either a preview snapshot or a preview video for free like uh, as an extra card for uh, potential buyers to look at and when i started i didn't do videos <laughs> i i made actually what i did was is i went uh, and created either a flat lay you know just put i just printed off the product put it on something and took a picture of it and uploaded it um, many TPT sellers still do that and there are a couple good videos of teachers creating flat lays on their screens and then taking a screenshot where they can squeeze in like 20, 30 images. It's, it's crazy. I don't do that because one, I don't have that many images and that it seems like it's a lot of work. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for ease. One of the things I also started doing recently is I went to Michael's back in the summer, I guess, and I purchased really nice uh, scrapbook pages. These are 12 by 12s. And I thought these would be nice as, again, part of a flat lay. And I could put picture things, images on here. I also use these to make, create my own stock photos. I drop, I drop blocks and um, alphabet letters and Scrabble tiles, little things like that. And I use those as well as part of my pins and things. As far as preview videos, I have used just the camera. I have used the iPad and videoed it that way. And then I learned to do screen recordings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly go get a cup of tea. <laughs> and then we're going to talk about screen recordings. My, I'm, my voice, my throat is a little bit parched. I'll be right back. I grabbed a chocolate while I was in the kitchen. It was just conveniently there. So one of the things you have to decide is whether you want to just get a preview video uploaded or whether you're going to take extra time to make uh, an audio recording with it or, you know, <laughs> something flashy. There are some preview videos out there that are, I'm, they're wild. They are commercials and I don't know how long that takes. I don't know how much that costs. 
but I'm trying to show you ways that will keep it quick, <laughs> under 30 minutes, and free. Just using, hopefully, either your PC, your Mac, iPad, camera, something quick. So what I'm going to do in a moment is I'm going to show you screen recordings on the, my Mac and this older PC. You'll hear <laughs> why I no longer use that PC. <laughs> but let me just say, when you first start doing this, it feels like it takes forever. Um, it doesn't. I, I'll show you this and I'll show you when I do it on this PC. If yours doesn't make the sounds, mine does you'll be able to make one in a matter of minutes. Screen recordings are the way to go. Again, there it's just a matter of capturing that screen. And your goal is just to make something that's going to be easy for you to create, but also easy for the potential buyer to see as much of your product as possible. So when you are creating a preview video, what are you looking to do and buy it? So this preview is important that you show them why you made it, um, how it's going to help the buyer, and possibly different ways that you can use it. I mean, if you can show them two to three different ways of how you can use this product, all the better. You wanna be able to extend the life of this product. So say it's about time, teaching time. What are the different ways that they can take this product and teach time? Whether that be whole group, small group, independent work, right? Talk about all those times and again, do it quickly. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to move the camera around and we're going to start on my Mac and then we'll move over to this PC. This is an older model, uh 2013. <laughs> But it works fine. And um, so what you do in order to make a screen recording on your desktop is you're going to do Command Shift 5. So if I do Command Shift 5, you can see, I don't know if you can see this, a screen just showed up. And down here at the bottom, if I want to record my entire screen or I'm doing a selected portion, which is what I really like about the Mac. I can capture, which is just a snapshot, but record the entire screen or record selected screen. And then with options, it will tell me when I, how many seconds I have to get ready. Built-in microphone. So now I can record with a built-in microphone that's on here. And then I, I always give myself five seconds to get started. And then all you'll have to do is when you are finished recording, you will hit command control escape. And what it does is it stops it and it moves it right onto your desktop. And then it has, it'll say screen recording and the date and the time. And then you, what I like to do at that point is move it into iMovie just to go through and see if there's anything I can add to it whether I want to even add a little bit of music. I haven't honestly done added music. A lot of times I'm just trying to get it done. <laughs> I'm at that point of creating a TPT product that I want to just get it uploaded. Um, I do have a small goal list to redo some of my preview videos because some of them were done very haphazardly and people will see that. Is it better to get something on there than nothing? I, I think so. It's your store, you decide how you want to do this. But I would recommend getting a preview of some sort. Get your product showing in front of as many people as possible and get them to see as much as possible. So let me quickly do one. Again, I can show you how quick it is to create one. You have to have your product up first before you can hit record. So I'm just gonna get my Google Slides that I just recently made, okay? So let me hit Command Shift 5. I'm going to position the screen so that it just shows the slides on the side so that people can see the slides and the actual image. So I'm going to bring it down. All right, are we ready to record? Let's record. Hi everyone, this is Lori Ann from It's All Primer and today I'm going to show you our the latest product from my Telling Time series. This one is Telling time by five minute intervals. You are done. Thanks for watching. Command, control, escape, 
and now it just popped right down in the corner here as a screen recording. So I'm gonna quickly show you a little of it. I made mistakes in it, which is one reason why I like to move it into iMovie, that I can remove the mistakes instead of trying to re-record and re-record and re-record, because I've done that. <laughs> so let me just minimize that, and I'm gonna pop up this screen recording. So it's down here in the corner. So I'm just gonna double click on it, and it will open up in QuickTime. You can see QuickTime, which is on your Mac. So here is the video recording time by five minute intervals and as you can see I always start with a cover so that if you want to create copies for each of your students you can then give it to them and they can use it like a digital it's pretty fast the one last thing I'll do is I will rename this screen recording so I'll rename it in along the lines of how I've named my product so this particular product is telling time to five minute intervals I will change the screen recording to say telling time to five minute intervals, preview video. I always add what type of product it is at the, at the end of the words so that I can just then upload this straight onto TPT. But as I said, I made some errors, so I'm gonna throw it into, I'm gonna upload it into iMovie, remove the mistakes, resave it, and then I'll upload it to TPT. And that took six and a half minutes. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to turn the camera around. I'm going to turn my computer around. <laughs> it takes a while to start up, but it works. And I'm gonna show you how to create a screen recording with audio. So you're, you're gonna be able to use your microphone to make a preview video. It's actually rather easy. And this is on a PC. You just need Windows 10. If you don't have Windows 10, I don't, I don't know how to do it but I'm sure it's something similar. So besides needing Windows 10, have your uh, product open up on your desktop so it's showing. So here is a pr one of my freebies that I have from getting to know your child, all right? And then what I'm going to do is, as part of Windows 10, they have what's called a game bar that allows you to take snapshots and screen recordings. But I don't want to use game bar because that's for Xbox. So what I need to do is I open up the Xbox console, right? So here it is opening. And then I'm going to just turn around and minimize it. So I'm just going to put it right back down there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Windows G. And then this comes up. This is what I want over on the corner. So here is... I, uh, again, I can take a screenshot here. Now I can hit recording. If I had not opened up the Xbox console, this would be disabled, but now it's enabled. So I'm going to hit recording and make sure my microphone is on so I can talk about it. It does a recording of the whole screen. So depending on what you want showing, for example, if I just get minimize that, I might want to get rid of some of the stuff that's showing on this screen. So I've made this um, PDF as big as I can. So you just hit record and get ready because it's going to record immediately. It won't show this stuff here. It's just showing what I've got on the desktop. And this is a very short document. Hi, my name is Lorianne and this is It's All Primary. This is a short PDF on getting to know your child and I use this in my classroom mainly at the beginning of the year so that I can um, get, my pa get parents' perspective on their children and I find there's a lot of useful information that they will provide for me and I'll just scroll down a little bit so you can see it. Enjoy. Thank you. So I've just gone over there and I hit stop and if you notice it's recorded and it shows up in my whoops and it just disappeared and if I lose it before I cl you click on over there, go back to Windows G, and over here it says show all captures. I go here, and there it is. Go down here to where it says open file location, so you can see where it is. And in here it's in my videos, and there is a previous one when I was practicing, and it's an MP4. So you can now drag this straight into your TPT file. If you're getting any value from this video, please give it a thumb up. And again, subscribe so you don't miss videos, 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 videos. As mentioned, if there is a topic on teacher side hustles or even teacher productivity that you are interested in, please write a comment down below. I read all the comments. Teachers Pay Teachers is something best done with friends. <laughs>
because there's so much that we can glean from one another. Next week's video is going to be about marketing and getting your product out there for people to see. We're going to look at a different couple different ways of how you can do this and even if you are a beginner at this you can get people looking at your product until then i hope wherever you are in the world that you are keeping safe and if you are watching this at the time of upload happy new year <laughs> and we will see you in the next video take care everyone